Hey guys, this is 97 Lego Miang with a very, very, very special video for you all. As you all know, my um, my Lego former is complete and this will be in the contest. I hope you guys vote for this. Before I get started, um, I would appreciate if you guys um, vote for um, my transformer here because it would mean a lot. And um, would I, am I going to participate in the voting? Well, I thought about it and I thought about maybe not. And I, and I have a very special reason why. Well, most of you guys, I mean, I like, I love you all. You're my subs. And I know, I know not, it's not just one of you are going to be participating in a contest. And if many of you are participating and if one of you guys ask me to vote and and I would most likely I would say yes, but there's other people who wants me to vote for theirs too. And if I vote for um, this guy's, like this guy's um Lego former instead of this guy's Lego former, then that guy would be kind of mad. And it's like I'm showing favorites. I don't want to do that to you guys. So anyway, so this is um I his name is Cyblade. Cyblade he is a robot samurai just like Drift. But I, ne I never intend to make him look like Drift. Because <laughs> we know in Drift in um, Dreamwave comics, I think, he was he was a samurai because he has two blades. He's a dual wielding guy, wielding guy. And I heard when I heard he was in Age of Extinction, I, actually, I didn't really know that Michael Bay would actually turn him into a full-on samurai. Really, if you guys seen the picture of Drift, he's just, oh my god. <laughs> he has a humanoid face with a goatee, with a samurai helmet, samurai armor. He has samurai everything. I, I had no idea. And I, I was almost done with, and I was halfway done with this guy when I saw the, the what Drift actually looked like. So, and so indirectly, I kind of copied off Michael Bay. But I guess that wouldn't count because I had no idea. Anyway, so the vehicle mode is supposed to represent the Korean sports car, the Korean Spira. And plus he's a samurai and... You guys wondering why I chose a Korean car? Well, because I'm Korean. That's my, that's my, that's me because I'm Korean ethnicity. I'm Asian, and you can see the back. Cool. The hood's all right. I gave. Yes. He, he kind of has like a pattern going on. It's like a gray, light gray to dark gray to to black and then tan stripes. And yep. And this guy just like Drift. He's a um, dual wing wielding samurai because. Samurai robots are really cool. That's why I decided to make them. So anyway, enough of that transformation. First, this guy's actually pretty sturdy. He's all right. And first, we need to do we need to take off these um windows. We need to unpeg them from the doors. I guess it'll be easier. I take that to dig my fingernail in here, which I don't have. I just clipped them a few days ago, so it's kind of hard. Yeah. So we'll do that these side pieces here then fold back down like that fold down these mirrors side view mirrors or rear view whatever doesn't matter oh, I forgot to fold out this guy so we'll fold this out the top this the most of the, the top part that's gonna be kind of like the Samurai skirt, the back skirt, that's the butt plate, I guess. This will, and the, these are supposed to represent the spikes coming out from the back. So that it will be pretty cool. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna get, we're gonna get his feet. I hope this guy, this guy has a crazy transformation, because I always give crazy transformations to all my Lego figures. We're gonna split his leg. Uh, all right, this guy will everything gets janky in here because there's a lot of stuff going on Now we're gonna fold out the hood part Just like that We're just gonna leave it like this What we're gonna do now and uh This will be kind of hard. I'm gonna let these Let these fold back fold that samurai skirt down. I guess we can move the arms like that out of the way Pull down the arms, pull down the shorter piece so that way you can get his arm all the way out like that. Pull out his hand. We'll, we'll get it to his hand later. This guy's a this guy's a transformation pain. Like that. 
just gotta straighten that out. Straighten out his arms, get to his hands later. So now we have something like this. My book fell, pulled out his head. These side pieces are gonna rotate. And rotate his head 180 degrees. Uh, let me get some books. Oh, you guys notice I have a back white background. It's just to make this video look good. Anyway, so and then we're gonna fold this. Need to tab this into place like that. His butt plate fell off to the wrong direction, and we're gonna get. We're gonna move his side skirt down like that. What we're gonna do? This will be kind of get tricky. You have to pull this. It's kind of hard because it's very tight. And rotate this 180 degrees. Oh, that's where that went. And once we do that, get move all this stuff out of the way. Fold that up. Then you can plug it down, just like that. Kind of. Maybe I should have done the easy way and do what I do mostly and just take off the, take off the back hood. But he was actually very sturdy before, so I expect it to be like that again. Now it's not gonna. Help. Now it's not really helping me. Twist his feet. Move these the things back so we can fully close this fold these in fold that in so you can see his legs a little bulky and then his and his sides are a little bulky because it's supposed to represent samurai armor so he's supposed to be a little bulky you need to like fold this back like that just like this Hold on, let me pull that in though. Kind of like this. And get something like that. So there we have, like that, that's the back samurai skirt. That, and so we got that. Now all we need to do is make sure he stays stable. Fold down his arms. Fold the hand. Fold down this arm, rotate, fold the finger. It's really hard to do it with just one hand. I have trouble with this. And here we have side blades in his, gotta get that shoulder perfect, in his robot mode. As you can see, he, he has his bulky chest and his bulky legs and he has nice shoulders which represents the nice samurai armor like the breastplate they wear that's why all these detailing is supposed to represent and here we have his samurai crotch you know that that samurai um, crotch plate and he has his uh, samurai back plate with his spikes sticking out from the side the yes he has some backpack but it's it's really not that much really the most backpack I would say is his leg and his and his um the, the side skirt because I love I love the samurai side skirts and it's awesome that Optimus is gonna have that too along with this. Now, side blaze he's a, he is an Autobot, a samurai Autobot. He he mostly likes to work alone really because he's more of a lone ranger. Because that's what's but um he doesn't really get along with other Autobots but he would fight for them, just like samurais really they they fight for their own clan but they would do mostly do it alone. So his main weapon, of course. He's a samurai, or his double swords. Now you can put them in each. You can put them in each of his hands. Now I want to do it for this one here. Aid. You must. Hey, hold the sword. You're the samurai. Don't say no to me. And this guy is pretty heavy, I have to say. Ah, oh, I forgot to bend his knee. That's why. All right. So here we have the sword. I like, and he's holding it like that. Now his um another main weapon is are these daggers. There are, you can also put them in each of his hands. You must you plug them on the side of his skirt so that way you know samurais, you know how they, they always go they always draw their swords or daggers on their waist. It's supposed to represent that. And he has this really long staff with a blade 
on it, and he has his favorite color orange, even though he's gray, black. Yeah. Well, he has some orange bits like on his nips and his and his chest. So yeah, he can hold this, and it's it's one of those samurai weapons where they they will hold a blade. Um, when that when I mean it has a blade here, and they do a lot of cutting stuff. So it's it's, kind of, it's like a Japanese scythe, and if. Normally he doesn't use this weapon, but if he has to, like in a big emergencies, he would use it. It's these shoulder guns. Now you plug them in both of his shoulders, which I'm going to show you now. I have to get a higher stand for you so that you guys can see this. You plug this one in the back, just like that. And this gun in his other shoulder, just like that. And uh, I guess I can plug his other weapons here. Uh, sorry, side blade. So lift up your head a little bit so I can grab you. Plug his th this dagger here, and plug his other dagger here. So that's where I put the dagger in the side, so we can draw him out easily. Now this this guy doesn't really. Have a good. Oh man, I hit him. Good thing he didn't fall. This this part right here will tab into the back. It's like right along the middle. He <laughs> it makes him really really bulky. <laughs> looks kind of ridiculous. So so I don't really. Looks pretty ridiculous. So I I just I just um just to leave it like that. So what I do. Is really you just split it so maybe he can have a bow staff instead and if you want I forgot to let you guys know you you can combine these two swords together to make a double sword like pulling a sentinel prime or have two double swords by using this his spikes and combining it with this so he can have two double edged swords or oh, double edge no no double sided sorry and you would put the sword back here too and for this you can just like split it and put it in the back like that so it looks pretty cool so yeah, so that's basically it, and we reached 540 something subs. Thank you guys for that. I'm really, it's, it's really awesome that you guys have been supporting this channel. I hope this video wins the competition. And yeah, and if I and if I have to, if I really have to vote because you guys really, really, really want me to, then I'll do this. I'll, I'll just, I'll just get whoever says please vote for me, and I'll, and I'll just draw a random card or something like that. Maybe that will be fair. I'll do something like that. All right. So please vote for this guy, and I'll see you later. And G1RC will be next because Beck, Beck Smith or whoever that person is. Um, requested that to me so after i do that i might start with my own first edition Tr transformers age of extinction so yeah see so yeah see you guys hope i win first place i need more pieces Everything bye